All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to this week's video. Um, I'm sorry that I just look so different from what you're used to seeing. Um, I actually posted on my Instagram like a few weeks ago asking for any requests that anyone had for like videos that they wanted to see. And a few people had asked for like a makeup tutorial. Honestly, I'm not really the type of person that wears like a full face of makeup every single day. Um, but I do have my normal everyday makeup routine and I just got out of the shower and I've been feeling like I need to record and just like talk because I didn't post a video last week. So I kind of just want to like chat, catch up with you guys. So I'm going to do a get ready with me video today. So you are seeing me fresh out of the shower. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of like little freckles or like impurities on my face um a few months ago i was actually interviewing for the for a new job and that was like really really stressful and so i broke out into a lot of little pimples and so my skin is still like healing up from that but that's okay also my hair is tied back because it was not hair washing day but tomorrow will be so this is why i look like this but we will do an unveiling at the end of the video with what I will be looking like. So, um, I think that the best way to get started is with a full, amazing morning routine. So everyone needs to have a morning routine and morning routine, a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine. Just got out of the shower, fresh face, everything is clean. So I'll show you the products that I use on a day to day basis and honestly, um, these products that I'm about to show you are actually the things that were like a game changer for me and definitely upped my skin game. So first of all, I got this Ole Henriksen like duo thing because my sister had actually recommended it to me. How they like when you go to Sephora or something, they'll sell like a little package so you can like try out a few of the different products. So I tried out their brightening banana eye cream, which I love. Um, and then I also got the brightening gel cream, the vitamin C and rose winter extract gel cream. And I love this. And it also came with a vitamin C serum. And I love that so much, um, but I actually ran out of that one. So when I had first gotten the pack, I would like start off with the vitamin C serum and then I would do this and then I would do this. But since I ran out of the vitamin C serum, I actually went back to Sephora and got one of the other products that I'm gonna show you. I start off with the eye cream. And I have nails right now, so I just kind of take the back of my nail, dip it in, and then put a little dab there, a little dab there. So I guess like while I'm like putting in my products, I'll just like tell you. So sorry that I missed last week's video. Um, one of the reasons why I made this YouTube was to share my poetry because I've always like written and I never really had a place to like share it. I told you guys that I would go to like the coffee shops, but I would just get super nervous and I wouldn't go up and share. I just didn't have the guts to at the time. And during the pandemic and during 2020, I just felt like there was a lot that happened that was, I felt like I was like holding myself back from things that I really wanted to do. And so I told myself that 2021 was the year that I was no longer gonna let that stop me. So I'm not letting any fears stop me and I'm gonna just go full steam ahead. So that was the reason why I started the YouTube, right? Um. But basically, I've been trying to share this poem with you guys. I'm moving into this now. I've been trying to share this poem with you guys because I got inspired to do it, um, like to write it. And I know what I want to say, but I just feel like it's not completely finished yet. And so I was upset because I filmed last week. I filmed the video, but I just feel like after watching the footage back and like listening to the poem, it wasn't complete. So I was like, okay. No, we're not posting this. And then I didn't have any other footage. So I didn't have time to like make a video or remake a video. So I'm really sorry about that. I don't mean to be like, you know, flaky or I think that as a human, all you really have for people to like trust you is your word. Like if you're always like going back on your word, people aren't gonna trust who you are or believe you and you just lose all credibility, right? So. I don't want to like come off in that way. So I'm really sorry. I wanted to just like come on and like talk. Also, I forgot to put some on my neck. So I'm going to get some more. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Also, originally, sorry, it's like kind of hard when you're like, ah. 
<laughs> on your neck but um originally i had committed to doing wednesday videos and that was when i was still at my old job and then i was like transitioning so i had like a week or two off and then i was able to like post consistently but then as i started my new job oh my god i'm like literally talking with like this is simba moment on my forehead um but i just realized that like Wednesdays definitely cannot be the day because Mondays and Tuesdays are just so busy at my job at my new job and I don't have time to like edit on those days because I'm just so tired after like the day also I like to just do a little like pat in after um so I'm probably gonna have to change like my posting day either Thursday or Friday will probably be better so there's that for you as well um moving on so i mentioned that i loved the vitamin c oil that came with this before when i had that i would do the vitamin c eye cream the gel that i just showed you and then i would do sunscreen right so i use this neutrogena like because you have to put on sunscreen every single day like you like you just you just have to it's like how you protect your skin you're gonna stay looking young forever if you put on sunscreen every single day i also put it on my hands because you know, you're driving in the car all the time and then the sun is just always hitting them. So you want your hands to be nice and pretty. Um, so when I was going back to Sephora, originally I was going to get that same vitamin C serum. But then like as I was like perusing and shopping around, I saw this, which is the Sugar Goop Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF. And I was like, okay, like I have to get this just to try it out. So this is my first time trying this one. Um, I'm really liking it. I'll show you guys like the consistency. I didn't show you guys the consistency of the other ones. Oh my gosh, I feel so kind of bad. Um, let me just go back and do that really quick, just since I'm doing that. So this is what the eye cream looks like on the inside, as you can see. I still kind of have a lot, but like you can see the bottom. And that's because once I got my nails done, I kind of had to like dig a little bit more. So you'll kind of see the same trajectory with the swan. Like I said, really like these um, Olay Henriksen's definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend and then this is going to be the sugar goop and i love the packaging on this like how it looks like a little pill like that's just really cute and yellow is one of my favorite colors so this definitely caught my eye i was like i saw it with the packaging and everything i was like "Ooh, what is that um so packaging matters packaging definitely matters um i'm gonna do a little squat like that and it's kind of like a liquidy obviously it has the vitamin c so it's a little bit like oily and i just do like a little dabby dab I always make sure to get my nose really well because I don't know if you can see, but I kind of have like freckles and stuff. Um, and the summer and the sun just like brings them out even more. So I definitely try to get the nose. Also, it looks really gross though that she's just like sitting on my skin like that. But yeah, and like as you can see, it has like this really nice like sheen, but, like just all over my face. So I just like to gently rub this in. I know it's not good to be too rough with your skin. And I've heard that like brushing in an upward motion like really works well. But honestly, I feel like I do more of like a side swipe and then I like dab after. Like I'm not a beauty guru, so I, I, I just don't know. I, someone, a few people just had asked for this. And so I'm just sharing what I do. And bada bing, bada boom. That is that. So after I get all of my different moisturizers and like this one I really like because like it has a vitamin C so it's a little bit oily. I love to do a little like face roller moment. So this is a little carrier that I like put it in which is funny because it's actually a sunglasses case but I lost the sunglasses. They dropped in a toilet when I was at a national park, Redwood National Park with my boyfriend and so RIP. But <laughs> this is oh my god I'm... oh my god this is my amethyst face roller which i really love because it has like this really cute like rose gold like stuff and you know i've been seeing a lot of these like all over youtube and stuff for a while um and whenever i would go to like marshall's or like these random places like even target like had them and I just didn't trust that they were real crystals. Like I have my own crystal collection. I love healing crystals. I really truly believe in their healing properties. And I feel like they've actually helped me a lot throughout my life and throughout my journey, spiritually, emotionally, physically. So I'm a huge, huge fan, huge supporter. But I wanted to make sure that when I got a face roller, it wasn't gonna be like a fake one that had like a little bit of crystal, but then it had like plastic around it. So 
I made sure to actually go to a crystal shop and get a legitimate one. So this one is real and like you know it's real because when you touch it it's like super cold to the touch which is actually really good because it helps with like depuffing your eyes and stuff. So I'm gonna um, roll my face out with this. And what I like to do is I really like to start out with my eyes. As weird as it sounds like I'll just like kind of like pick a number and it's usually between like 6 and 12 and I'll just like literally like meditate on that number <laughs> and roll my face to that number which is weird. I don't know where that belief system came from but it just came to me and I just do it that way. So 6 is my favorite number so I'm just gonna do like 6 little rolls under my eye just to show you kind of how I do it. So. I like to go up. And then I also like to get the top, like I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but I just like the cooling sensation and I feel like it helps with deep puffing. So I just kind of go and follow the natural curvature of your eye. Ooh, I caught an eyelash when I was rolling that one. Um. So yeah, I start with my eyes. Ooh. And then I just got a little bit of sunblock in there. Oh my God, angel. I'm back, sorry about that. Um. So yeah, to the eyes. Also, okay, so this is actually really cool. So last night I went out with my girls for my roommate Gaia's 24th birthday. And we went to this bar on Santana Row, which is like this really nice area in San Jose. Um. And it was interesting because we met this really cool guy and he was like, well, him and his friend, but one of them was kind of annoying and whatever. The other guy was really cool. And he was like telling us about his company that he started is called Skips Flips or something like that. And it's basically this flip flop company that this guy created in honor of his brother who actually committed suicide. And excuse me, basically it's a mission based company. He's gonna be giving 10% of the proceeds to like suicide foundations, like the Robin Williams Foundation and stuff like that. And I just thought that was really cool and really inspiring. And like, I felt like I was like kind of meant to like hear his story and meet him and just like, wow, like be around someone who has that mission inside of them and like is living to that. And you know, one of the reasons why I started my YouTube was to kind of talk about mental health awareness and to really be open about that and like start that conversation. And I felt like me meeting him last night, like helped me remember that. And I was like, whoa. So that's kind of something I want to like talk about today. It's just like, I feel like I have to do it after I like roll my face out, but like, mental health shouldn't be something that people like shy away from and like feel really weird to like talk about you know and i feel like that's so much easier said than done but like the best way to like start that conversation is to have that conversation you know what i mean like don't be afraid to like open up i guess i want to like come on here and just kind of like talk a little bit about my own story so during 2021 at the beginning of the year, um, I actually decided to start going to therapy again because I've gone to therapy on and off throughout my life, like literally since I was like a kid. Basically, I just felt the need to like go to therapy because 2020 was like a crazy year. There was like so much going on and I feel like already in my head and in my life that was like a lot to just wrap my head around. But then I feel like there was a lot of like unresolved trauma that I hadn't really you know talked about or figured out and like I've struggled with depression like on and off throughout my whole life um and a few years ago I got out of my longest relationship ever which was also my first relationship I was in a relationship for eight years and like I'm not gonna lie like Obviously, I accept my faults in that relationship and recognize that no one's perfect, but that relationship just wasn't the healthiest and I feel like a lot of stuff kind of like went down between me and that person and I'm still trying to like understand how it affected me and how that portrays itself on a normal day-to-day -day basis and in 2020, I actually got into my first relationship post that breakup. So... That's kind of where I started discovering a lot and like recognizing where my where some of my weaknesses might be and I'm still working through those. Um, 
Now that I've just put all of my bases on, I have all my moisturizers, my eye creams, my SPF. I rolled my face out. My face is ready for the day. So I don't really do too, too much makeup, but this is my everyday look. It's different than like me going out, but like this is literally the makeup that I do if I'm like going to work or um, I just want to like go out for the day. Um, usually if I'm just staying home, I will literally just wear no makeup and just do all my creams and things. And I feel like a lot of people on YouTube use this concealer, but I use this concealer. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. And I use it in the color light because I am pale. Um, but yeah, so... Back to what I was saying. I also just kind of just, so I put it under like my eyes like this, do like a little triangle moment. And I don't really know why. I feel like I saw this in a YouTube video like a long time ago and I just like stuck with it. And then I just do like a little dab on the places that my skin is looking kind of crazy, which right now, like I mentioned, I kind of have a few pimples or like scars from when I was breaking out when I was interviewing. So that's probably good back to what I was saying like when I was younger and I was struggling with like my depression um I feel like I felt so alone and I didn't really feel like I had anyone who like understood me or like I could open up to and that feeling like really sucks like and I just remember feeling like no one can ever understand me like no one cares like I don't know it was just weird because I feel like neither my mom or my dad are like super emotional or like I've ever seen them like get super emotional like cry or anything or like talk about their emotions so like I didn't really feel like I could do that with my family at the time um when I was growing up when I was like really young and so that was like really difficult and I feel like trying to like cope with your feelings and like doing that inside of yourself and not feeling like you have people that you can talk to is really hard, you know? And I'm not like saying this to like bash on my parents or like talk shit on them. It's just like my perspective of my experience. And obviously there's two sides to a story, like whatever. But, you know, it was just really, really tough. I'm grateful because I have a little sister, my younger sister, Janelle. And she definitely like helped me a lot through a lot of my depressive episodes where I feel like I couldn't like speak to anyone. So I'm like so grateful for her because if it wasn't for my sister, I literally don't know where I would be because I've been in some really dark places in my life where I would just wasn't exactly sure what I would do or what the next steps were. So yeah, there's that. Also that is just looking kind of gross, but sorry everyone. Just gonna do a little dab. Also, I know it's really bad that I use my fingers for everything, but I just feel like personally, like I do have a sponge, which I use when I do like foundation and stuff. But I just feel like that holds a lot of bacteria and I'd rather use my fingers because I know that I wash them and they're like clean, but don't quote me on anything. Cause like I said, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just angel with a J. Um, so yeah, and like, I feel like therapy is like one of those things that like every single person needs and like you don't even have to go through something like super traumatic or crazy to like need therapy or want therapy but I literally feel like every single person on this planet can benefit from it because it's like there are things that you might have experienced as like a child that have affected you and that play out in your adult life that you aren't even aware of you know. Also, sorry, I have a mirror over here, so I'm like kind of like looking off to the side a little bit. I'm not gonna get into the details, but during this year, I was actually diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, and there were, I think, a few factors that played into that and like caused me to have that. But for a long time, I've been just going throughout my life and like having these episodes and like feelings and like not understanding like where they came from and me going to therapy and like getting that diagnosis and like having someone to like help talk me through those moments has been very very bene very beneficial so yeah um after I've done that one I 
Oh my god, I'm so dead. I so basically I told you when I last night I put my eyelashes on top of my setting powder. That's so funny. This is the setting powder that I use, which I feel like is pretty popular also on YouTube. It is the air spun loose facial powder, and I just got the translucent one. Um, and then I just start to set my face and what I've just worked on. Like I said, I don't want to like go too deep into like all of my traumas and like literally like unload them all on you, but I'll just like talk about, I know one of them that affected me and like made me feel very scared in life and like, yeah, maybe this might be something that some people can relate to or something that some people might not be able to relate to. I don't know, but it's my experience and I'm going to share it with you. But when I was at community college, I actually was on campus when there was a school shooting and that was honestly a very traumatic experience for me. Um, it was a gang related, gang related, <laughs> it was a gang related shooting. Um, but it was just really scary. So I was actually in my stats class um, and we were sitting in class and just listening to the teacher lecture or whatever. And then this guy like runs from the hallway and he like bangs on the door and opens it. And he's like, there's an active shooter on campus. Everyone get under your desk, lock the windows, like close the windows and lock the doors. And I went into like instant shock, like freaked out. And like, I'm sure you guys have heard of like fight, flight, and then there's freeze, which of course I happen to be freeze. So when I'm in like a state of scaredness or like something crazy is happening and I wasn't expecting it, I literally just like tense up and freeze and I don't know what to do. Um, and I'm so grateful that my boyfriend at the time was in that class with me because he definitely helped calm me down. I feel like if I was in that situation without him, I probably would have went like so insane and like so scared, but yeah, that was really scary. But we ended up being locked in that classroom for five hours and we had to stay there because basically the police came and they have to literally go through each building in each section of the school before they can excuse you to make sure that everything is okay. And then they start with the people closest, obviously, because they want to make sure that they can evacuate them and that the person isn't there um, before they start going with the further rooms or like that was what I was witnessing. I'm not exactly sure if that's protocol, but like that's what I had noticed because I remember where the shooting took place, um, what part of the campus it was and then where we were. So yeah. That was pretty intense. So we like stayed there for like four hours and then we had to wait till we could get escorted off of the campus. So definitely I struggle with like feeling safe and like safety just in general. I feel like that's one of the struggles that I have. And like um, now when I hear like a gunshot or like a loud bang, like unexpectedly, like my heart just like races and I get really nervous and I'm like, oh my God, what was that? Was it a gunshot? And I just like always assume the worst. Um, so yeah, that's one of them, which is really weird. Um, so I don't mean for this video to be like so dark and depressing, so I'm not going to like unpackage anymore, but that's just one of them. <laughs> And you know, as time goes on and we get closer and we can like sit down and have more of these chats, but I don't want to like unleash the beast on you because <laughs> that would just be a lot. So we're not going to do that. Next, please and thank you. Um, so I got this highlighter, which I love. It's the Riviera Illuminator by, is it Anastasia or is it just Anastasia? I feel like I hear people say it so many different ways on YouTube, but I, I just say Anastasia because it sounds fancy. So we're gonna make her a little fancy girl. Um, but I have this highlighter, which I love. Like if I, get, if I was about to be stranded on an island and I could only pick one thing to bring with me, one thing, one beauty item, I would definitely pick highlight. Highlight is the one for me. Like that's, if I were to only leave with one thing, it would just be highlight. Like I feel like a baddie. As soon as I put highlight on, it's like game over. The game has been changed. So, but when I use my highlighter, I don't just use it on like the high points of my cheek. I kind of use it as like a little bit of a blush and like get the whole thing uh, because I do double up on highlighter. So you're about to witness the glory. So I just kind of like suck in my cheeks a little bit. 
like this little weird furs and then I do this and I just do like a circular round motion and go around on my cheeks and I don't want too much but like that looks like enough color for me and then I do the other side <laughs> So yeah, that's the highlight. That's this one. And then like I mentioned, I like to double up. So then I have this Fenty Beauty highlighter, which I got the duo because I really wanted to try it out. So I got the Kilowatt duo, which comes with afternoon snack and Mo Honey. Um, and honestly, like I mix it up and switch it up with these ones. Like one of them is a little bit more of like a brownie like bronzy moment and the other one is a little bit more like golden and I think I'm gonna go with the more golden one today just because I'm feeling a little cute I'm always feeling cute but I want to feel extra cute so then this I actually use like more of like a real true highlight and I just like focus it on the tops of my cheekbones like these and then I also love to get the nose I love a good nose highlight and then I do a little bit on the forehead just to like Bring a little shine in there. Okay, so this is kind of embarrassing, but I have this really cheap Alme <laughs> eyeshadow trio that I got literally when I was probably like late high school. And I didn't really like, I mean, the brown one is nice, but I literally just love this like white color up here and I only use it for inner corner highlight and nose highlight because I think that, like I mentioned, I love highlight and like the little tip of your nose having highlight on it is literally just the cutest thing and I just have to do it every single day. So I just take my little ring finger and I just rubby rub rub and then I just do a little dab and like look at how, like that just makes your nose look so much cuter. Like I just feel so cute. Um, and I do the inner corner like such not too much though because I like it to look still like a little bit natural as natural as it can be because like I said we don't need like a full face every single day but I also like to put on a little bit of chapstick after I do my powder because I like to just keep the lips plump so there's that so honestly we're basically almost done I don't really know too much about Madison Beer, but I was on YouTube one day and she was like talking about her daily makeup routine and like what she does. And I've been loving the soap brows that everyone was doing. And the first time I actually tried it was on Halloween of last year. And I really liked the way it looked, but I literally used just like a regular soap bar, like whatever, like a clear one. And I like did my eyebrows with it. And then I watched Madison Beer's like get ready with me video. And she talked about this brow soap, which I got from Amazon and I love it. So ever since I watched that video, I've been using that. So shout out to you, Madison Beer. So what I do is I kind of just wet my little spoolie and I take it and I just dig right in. Also that spoolie had a lot of soap on it. So sorry that you guys had to see that, but this is what I do. And then I'm just gonna brush it on in. I love the like feathered brow look and I have dark eyebrows, but they're kind of thin and I just feel like doing this really helps them look amazing. So like that's what they look like with just the brow gel or brow soap, nothing else. Um, so now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm loving this like bushier brow vibe lately. So, that is what the eyebrows look like and then i just like to like let those dry up a little bit let them do their thing and then i set my face <laughs> because all i really do after this is my eyebrow gel which i'll show you once i get there so i love this like pixie glow mist and I'm not really sure if it's a setting spray, but I use it as a setting spray because it's not like I did like a full, full face. I just covered my problem areas, emphasized the parts of my face that I want emphasized, which is my cheeks, highlight, and then like my eyebrows. Um, I don't really like to wear mascara every day or eyeliner, which is something that I used to do a lot, but I just feel like my eyelashes are just way healthier without that. So yeah, this is my everyday look. So I'm gonna just do a little spitzy spitz. I really like to get in there with that. I just love the way that that 
makes my skin look and feel because this has actual um argan oil in it and i just feel like that's really good for your skin so love that um i'm going to now put sunblock on my hands because like i mentioned i like to put sunblock on them and then i usually take that and then i do a little pump of lotion just literally the smallest amount and then i mix them together and then i just rub it in because i just feel like the lotion helps it feel less a little less oily and just like more creamy and i just use like the nivea shea moisture one nothing too fancy so yeah there is that lastly i do this elf eyebrow gel the wow brow i don't know what color it is but whatever color that is um and then i just take this and i brush them over the brows and that's it i don't really know if that makes that much of a difference but i just feel like it darkens them just enough voila i am done so i'm gonna go change my shirt fix my hair a little bit and then i'll do a little reveal for the day Thanks. all right and i'm back sorry i just had to like find a shirt to wear and then fix my hair up a little bit but this is the finished look this is me on a normal day pretty basic i just don't want to look dead add a little bit of color to my skin and then i'm ready for my day the finishing touch is my scent of the day and this is my everyday perfume it is my favorite one it is the gucci memoir which is a actually it's a unisex cologne i believe i don't think it's called like a perfume i think it's a cologne which is for males and females and i just really love that i love that it can work for both sexes and it just it smells like a musky forest that is sweet and those are like my favorite types of scents like i love a little bit of like a musk or like a scent that's feminine but not like too feminine so this is my everyday perfume so finish it up with that and that's it thank you guys for joining me for my get ready with me i hope you guys all have a really great amazing week that's all for now i hope you guys have a really great rest of your week an amazing weekend and like i said i'm going to have to change my schedule so we're gonna try for friday thursdays or fridays we're gonna try out both days and see which works best but I hope you guys are having a great week and have a good rest of your day. Bye.